Global Banking and Finance Review Awards reflect the innovation, achievement, strategy, progressive and inspirational changes taking place within the global financial community. The awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes, prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, we are pleased to offer an award to Omnibisic Bank in Ghana. Headquartered in Accra and with branches across the nation, Omnibisic has become one of the most successful banking mergers in Ghana and has become a bigger and stronger bank with 14 affiliates across Africa. Global Banking and Finance are pleased to offer two awards for Best Corporate Bank Ghana 2024 and for Daniel Esudu, Banking CEO of the Year Ghana 2024. Daniel is a seasoned banker and a chartered accountant by profession with almost 30 years working experience. He has extensive expertise in auditing, business consulting, general banking, financial management and investment. Recently, he came to London to receive the awards from Global Banking and Finance, and after the ceremony, we were able to talk to him and discover more about the Omnibisic success story. Daniel Asidiu, congratulations and welcome to London. Congratulations on being named Banking CEO of the Year for Ghana 2024. Thank you very much, Phil. Uh, we are honoured uh, as a bank, um, and um, I'm glad to be here. Uh, this lens presents to the fact that what we are doing in Ghana in a little corner is growing global and uh, as a bank we are excited about it. Thank you. Excellent. Well, let's explore a little bit about the, the work and success uh, of the bank. Omnibisic success indeed has been quite phenomenal and I'm sure your leadership has actually been instrumental in that success. How do you describe your, your leadership style um, and what core principles guide your decision making uh, at, at the bank itself? Thank you once again, Phil. Uh, well, I, I will describe myself as a transformational leader, and, and that's because, uh, coincidentally, most of the organizations I've had to run is either um, I needed to move it to the next level uh, or just to totally transform it. And so it's all about motivating and driving the people, the team, to get the results, uh, the much needed result. And that has been my style. And definitely in an attempt to um, apply that leadership principle, you just have to make sure that you are guided. Uh, consistency, making sure that um, you are transparent in your decision making. Uh, you have to make sure that you are open. Uh, you have to make sure that uh, the people uh, buy into whatever you're doing. And, and for me, that has really helped me uh, to achieve the results I've achieved so far. And uh, to take that a stage further, of course, mentorship is a very important part of leadership, as I'm sure you know. How would you say mentorship has actually influenced your journey within the job, and how, how do you foster it within, uh, within the bank itself? Mentorship is key. When you don't have an experience and when you are just developing your career, you definitely need people in your life. Uh, you also need people, even if they are not in your life, that you can look up to. I have benefited a lot from mentorship, not directly, but most of the time indirectly. I have a few individuals that who have uh, mentored me up to this moment and um, um, professional um, um, associations as well, and as well as um, you know, development in, in, in my life has, has ended up with me attending courses in, in some of the best schools in the world, uh, Harvard, Co uh, Columbia, INSEAD, uh, you know, uh, Kellogg and the likes. And that, again, allows me to hear from um, people who have done it very well in the leadership uh, circles who have, who have been successful. Uh, I just um, returned from um, a course in MIT, the Global e Education Academy, and um, again, that impacted me strongly. And so I've realized that it's important that we develop our people, and so we also send them abroad um, to, to, to some of the best schools. Some have gone to Harvard, London School of Economics as we speak. Uh, some are just finishing from London School of Economics. Some have gone to London Business School. Some have gone to, you know, INSEAD and the likes. And all these are ways of just making sure that our people are developed, listening to industry experts, listening to leaders who have made it. And, but within the bank, we have informal um, way of um, making sure that those who are coming up are developed. And so we have an informal way of uh, developing and mentoring our people just to build them to make sure that they deliver how, the, the way we want them to deliver. Well, it's obvious that it, it works very well. Uh, Omnibisic's bank, bank's financial performance in 2023 and the first part of 2024 has been impressive, without doubt, with significant growth in profits and, of course, key financial metrics. 
What would you say are the, the main drivers, as it were, behind that successful performance? Um, uh, our result is as a result of a multifaceted strategy that we adopted just to make sure that um, we deliver the result. Like I told you, as a transformational leader, it's all about driving the people to get the result. And so it was about operational efficiency, it was about uh, teamwork, it was about innovation, it was about um, you know, people getting to know why they are their commitment and the likes. And, and these things put together is what has made us who we are. And we continue to strive to achieve excellence. And so we'll continue to do that just to make sure that we deliver uh, uh, the necessary result to our stakeholders. And the most wonderful thing is that you have been recognised as the best corporate bank in Ghana for 2024. So congratulations to you for that. You. What factors would you say have contributed to this? And how are you adapting those services to meet the, the changing needs, I guess, of uh, Ghanaian businesses? Thank you. So um, again, uh, for us to be voted as the, as the uh, uh, best corporate bank in Ghana, attest to the fact that um, and the, the, our stakeholders are important to us, especially our customers, our esteemed customers. And so what we have done is to make sure that um, we have a tagline that we say we are not just another bank. And so everything we are giving to our customers, especially our corporate customers, are things that are unique, they won't get in other places. And so things like uh, relationship management, things like product offering, things like advisory services, things like um, you know, um, how we interact with them, uh, makes us stand out and perhaps that is what has contributed to us uh, being voted as the best um, corporate, uh, corporate bank in Ghana and we are excited about it. And presumably there's always competition to deal with anyway. Mm -hmm. What kind of innovative products or services uh, have been particularly well received by your, your corporate clients? So um, I would say that all our products have been received very well by, by all our customers including our corporate uh, customers. Um, but um, I believe we are in the electronic age and um, most customers are looking for electronic product and so our electronic pro product has been, have been well received uh, as we speak. Customers are excited each time they, they use our electronic products, all that electronic product and, and that is driving uh, our business, um, making us win more customers, ensuring that our customers are happy and so at the click of a button, very special where you can do many banking transactions on the internet electronically. And that is exciting our customers. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, is it difficult to tailor uh, the, the things that you offer and the services you offer to the device needs of, of the different sectors? Because it must change from one sector to another. Thank you. The one interesting thing about Omni Basic Bank is the fact that we don't give generic products to our customers. What we do is that we tailor made each particular product or services to the needs of our customer, having understood them very well. Again, because of the experience we have, we, we, we understand the Ghanaian banking industry very well and by extension get the Ghanaian economy. And that makes it easier for us to develop specific products. So there are customers who have specific products tailored to meet their needs. And that is what is making us stand out from the rest. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, community engagement and sustainability are watchwords these days. Uh, Omni Bissick bankers, I know, in emphasize the importance of that. Uh, could you share some recent sustainability initiatives that you've gone ahead and done and had, which has had a significant impact on operations and how do you actually align those uh, with your broader corporate strategy? So uh, at Omni Basic Bank we believe in giving back to the community where we operate. Um, so uh, in an attempt to uh, make sure that we implement that we just have to look at the community and say what can we give back. And so there are many things that we do. Um, we have our quarterly health works because we believe strongly that the health of our customers and by extension, the general public is very important and we need to create awareness. So we do the quarterly health works and that perhaps is the largest health work uh, being held in Ghana at the moment uh, where over two, three thousand people uh, will come and work with us, you know, and customers are always looking forward to that. We also have what we call the, the, the scholarship schemes that, that uh, we used to support. Students who are bright but you know, financially are not strong and so we look at them and we support them in universities or tertiary institutions and we have a couple of them as, as we speak. Uh, each time there are sort of events in the society or in the, in the community that requires our support, we come in and one of such is when there was a flood uh, uh, situation in Ghana, the victims, we, we came in strongly to support them. Um, a lot of, uh, and that of course we, we also uh, had to support some of the, um, the what do you call it, um, 
community police that we have, um, specifically donating um, some vehicles to support them in their day-to-day -day operations. And, and beyond all this, uh, ESG for us is very important, and, and that's because we have to make sure that um, the activities uh, doesn't impact the environment negatively. And so all our, our support to our customers, we make sure that um, uh, these customers are supported in businesses that doesn't impact um, um, our, uh, the environment. And so our ESG principles are, 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 the ESG principles we have guide us to make sure that the facilities we grant and the support we give to our customers uh, don't impact the environment negatively, and, and plus many other things we are doing. And so we believe strongly that we have to impact the environment positively, and that's what we are doing. Well, it is a fantastic success story, as you've outlined so well. Uh, and looking forward to uh, plans for the future, what would you say are the strategic priorities uh, for Omni Bisic Bank? I mean, how do you envisage its role in Ghana's economic development, for instance? Thank you once again, Phil. Um, definitely, um, our priorities are to make sure that we satisfy and perhaps exceed the, 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 the expectations of all our stakeholders, especially our customers. And so... For us, we'll continue to develop products and services that will exceed the expectation of our customers. We we'll have to make sure that we comply with regulation. We have to make sure that we return good, um, uh, we give good returns to our shareholders, and we have to make sure that we continue to do things that doesn't impact on the environment negatively, but most importantly, support the environment where we operate. Uh, these, uh, and then of course, we have to make sure that we are also the best employer of labor to make sure that uh, who, those who work around us or those who work with us are quite happy working. And so these are the things that will are priority to us and we continue to drive it to make sure that we achieve them. Well, Daniel, first of all, once again, congratulations on your own personal achievement and indeed that of the success of the bank. And thank you so much for coming to London to talk about that success today. Uh, we, we are excited and uh, we are grateful to you for recognizing what we are doing in Ghana. It adds credence to the fact that what we are doing in the banking space is gaining global attention. And we are excited about it and we look forward to even doing more. Thank you.